today we're going to be making an airplane. This is my favorite way to fold an airplane. It is tried and true. It's the version I've been doing since I was a kid. And it goes so far. So we're going to take a normal piece of paper. Your parents probably have this kind of paper around. It's from the printer. So have them get you a piece of paper from the printer. They're perfect because they're really light for making airplanes. So the very first thing we're gonna do is fold it in half, hot dog style. Now, one of the most important things about folding a paper airplane is to be precise. Make sure you get these corners lined up. Make it perfect, as perfect as can be. So if you didn't know it was folded, you almost can't tell. So it just looks like you can't see any overlapping, any corners like that. It needs to be perfect. I'm gonna open it back up. Now I'm going to bring this corner down to the inside. This is the way most paper airplanes begin. And you want to get the point as perfect as possible. Get this totally lined up with the middle. Hold that in place really tight and then come down with a really sharp fold. I'm gonna bring this down. It should come back down to the exact same point. So this makes a perfect line across there. And then this should come up to a perfect point. Hold that really tight with your left hand and fold it. So it's really tight, really flat. Okay, so this is making a perfect line. The more precise you can be with this, the better. Then I'm going to fold this fold into the middle. These are great for competitions to see who can make the best airplane, who can make the airplane that flies the furthest in your house. Maybe you could take them outside on a nice day. Now I'm gonna do the same thing. Take this fold, take it into this middle center, center line that we used at the very beginning. Okay, and before you, before you press down on this, make sure everything's exactly where you want it. And this should come right to the middle. Hold down tight and fold. If this hand is holding really tight, then this hand can press down really hard and it'll be correct the first time. These should be at about the same spot. You can tell that this one's a little bit higher. So I'm doing all right. Could have done a teeny bit better. Okay, now I'm gonna flip it over. And now this fold goes into the center again. So there's three folds on each side and then we're done. This is gonna come into the middle. Now this is getting tighter and tighter. So what I like to do is just take a nail and kind of coerce the paper to wanna fold back that direction. And then you just need to make sure this is lined up with that center fold. Don't let that go out the other way. Okay, it looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna hold that really flat and sneak my fingers out here. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Like I said, this side, once this is getting kind of bulky right here, so I'm just, I can kind of use my nail to make that paper want to fold right there. I'm gonna line it up the whole way. and then sneak my fingers out there and make the fold all the way through. Now, you simply fold this out so you have a V right here. If you wanna fold this back again, get your wings together. That looks pretty good. Ready? Whew. 